what's up everybody welcome back the green card is here with you how many won the green card did you win the green card welcome back to my channel this is lucy i've come to enlighten people i want my followers to make it we're all making it right so guys green card is over what's your next option go do your nursing school go do a course computer science nursing school a course that will enable you to get a green card okay we're not wasting any time to get a green card to come to this country okay we're not gonna waste any time and so you're supposed to do either nursing or computer science robotics all those courses and if you can't do that you can still become get your green card through eb3 visa okay in the description box i will post the link to buy my ebook of all the companies that i know of course there are many other companies but i've done my research but it has a disclaimer it's not legal advice i'm not encouraging um i'm only sharing information for people to do their due diligence as you buy before you pay your money you need to oopsie i'm going too fast you need to make sure that you have you have done your due diligence before you pay your money. Some of these companies are very expensive. Some of them, they're cheaper compared to one of the big companies that I know. So do your due diligence and you'll be fine. You'll be okay. Okay. It costs a lot of money. Yes. But let's see how much effort you want to put in getting, the, in getting this green card, right? I know there's so many other ways, cheaper ways to do this, but guys, if you know that you need a green card in any way, if you can go to the dating site, get a, get someone, Monyaneza Kupatia Papers, someone who can marry you and get you papers. Or if you find someone genuine, why not? You know, that's, if you get it, fine. If you don't, you look for ways. If you visa, you can come here even as a caregiver, as a mason worker, as a pizza worker, as a waitress, as a what? And I know there's some visas like the crew visa. You can get that visa if you want, but if you know where to get it. Some places, I don't know. Some, maybe the information I'm sharing. Or you Google, or you follow people who've done it. I've seen so many YouTubers who are, who are sharing the information. And I'm so happy that this information people are sharing with other people to empower you to make a decision. You can go to YouTube and search all day or Google, but somebody has given this information for free for you, especially for courses like nursing and all that, you know. So all I'm trying to say is, all I'm trying to say is, the opportunities that are there i know it costs a lot of money but that's why i in this channel we also talk about like saving whatever money you have however little money you have you must learn how to save it one dollar two dollars i mean one shilling two dollars two shilling or a hundred anything any amount of money that you can save for the future i know it's pretty bad back at home like everywhere even here actually let me just tell you the truth it's not easy but it's doable because whatever courses that i'm telling you guys to join i know you've done your accounting or you've done um a course like a really nice course and you want to come here or you've won your green card or you haven't you want to get into a, maybe some of these courses some of them yes they have good money they have barely good money compared to healthcare industries and let me tell you for the people who tell you that oh you can still continue with your career let's say accounting or maybe another course apart from nursing and apart from tech yes you'll get the job but it will take you many years to get the money but of course if it makes you happy if it makes you money if it doesn't stress you i'm not here to tell you to change your course i'm just here to tell you that the easiest way to get into some of these uh, careers nursing ama technology easy why because statistics have it that that there is there are less people less americans who are applying to these jobs in the healthcare industry in the tech and all these sectors that i'm trying to say it's okay your education back at home it's valid don't even doubt it trust me it's valid i have a friend no well it's like oh the kids here i have a friend that 
they have they they actually CNAs. They started as CNA, certified nursing assistant, in a hospital. And since they already have a bachelor's in, I think, psychology or something, they got a job to do some administrative work and they got a higher money, a higher pay. But you see, some of these jobs you can do over time because the, the job is about like eight to seven hours, mostly about eight hours. And so, once that person. Uh uh. Shit. Aye. So somebody's just hooting at me. <laughs> so so <laughs> so what was I saying? They had a job as a CNA, and then they got a job within. Um, after being a CNA, they got a job to be uh, something in the psychology department, and then eventually they got a job. In the same same building or the same hospital they have a job to be a cna okay so instead of working overtime as this uh, as a cna you're still working like two jobs you're working two jobs at the same time okay so all I'm trying to say is that you can still do this job and this other job, combine it. If it's the same institution, that's fine. You don't have to do your CNA doubles. You can do your accounting, maybe eight hours and then go do a CNA. Oh, because this, let me tell you that these regular jobs like accounting, you know, regular jobs, they, they usually limit you with hours because they don't want to pay overtime, right? And they're already paying you cheaply. But in the healthcare industry, they have an option to do like a double shift whether you're a cna or nas lpn and this is why i'm saying you either choose to go here or here or you can just combine like i say there's a guy it's, this is a guy i think bachelor's in psychology or something he got a job as a cna in a hospital and then an opening up uh, there was an opening and then he applied he got the job and then when he comes like this job here people can work different times so when when he works like six to two or seven to three in this first job like office job he's the same institution because it's a hospital and he's a cna he's still continuing to do his cna shift from 3 to 11 you see so you're working like 10 like two jobs so you're working like two jobs so you're making double income fine if you don't have kids you're fine if you are single you know you're fine this cannot happen to people who have families or or if you're the sole breadwinner of the family you are the one who's going to get the jobs and the doubles and all that, you know. It depends with the situation. So all I'm trying to say is if you want your green card or if you did not win your green card, just know there are ways to improve this, um, to get access to these opportunities, okay? Do not feel like you're left behind. There's always an opportunity somewhere waiting for you or knocking. And all you say Everything is about your timing, God's timing. Me, I just believe in God's timing. If your thing is not coming, it's either you're not planning for it or you're not preparing for it unknowingly or majorly, it's your God's timing. If your time is not yet ripe, nothing will come out of it. But if your time is ripe, especially when you're practicing or you're preparing for something, they're known, who knows? It will come right before your eyes i have no doubt i completely have no doubt with that and as a parting shot always believe in in it believe in something believe it's gonna make it's gonna happen if you're planning to travel always i mean you can go start uh, applying for a passport it's funny interesting how some people you're applying for green card and yet you don't even have a passport you don't require to have a passport but you don't have a passport so i always say opportunity meets preparation and the more you think about these opportunities the more they will present themselves the more you think about a red car the whole day your mind is gonna be stuck with color red oh that's a red car oh my gosh for some reason you'll find that you can you can identify even 20 red cars in a day or 20 red colors clothing shoes a kid a bag a, a building the more you think about opportunities in your head, the more they will come.
is if you did not win your green card eb3 visa is for you whichever course you have i know it costs a lot of money but you have to save up for it okay by the way let me just say it's a lot of money it's true it's a lot of money but if you put your mind to it i think you can you can even let me tell you it's not guaranteed but you can check i think you can even take a loan if especially if the agency is like telling you hey this is you have we have a payment plan you can start with this we can start with that and trust me those agencies in my ebook they have those payment plans eb3 agencies they have those payment plans and they know you're going to take a debt i don't encourage that that but i know this is the amount of money that you've not saved for the people in diaspora i know you have the money so do it you must be in status you must not have breached your 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 whatever status you are in please try this out i'm just sharing opportunities i just want everyone to win people are struggling we are all struggling with something i just want you to win please try and win and practice something i just want success for you guys i just i genuinely like to see people succeed and why not you my followers i don't want to be in this space all alone i know it gets the higher you go the the more like lonely it becomes but this is a platform that I'm using to encourage you to follow in the footsteps. As always, see you in the next video. Peace. Please watch and subscribe. I'll appreciate it. Thank you.